This is Bill Stewart and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to reduce the size of a VirtualBox Windows client disk file. Uh, in my environment virtual machines here I have a machine running with a 40 gigabyte uh, VDI virtual disk and I've decided I really don't need that much uh, space for the virtual disk so I actually want to reduce the size of that file on disk. It's actually the, the full uh, 40 gig on disk so I want to make that smaller. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into the running virtual machine and I'm going to open a command prompt or PowerShell as administrator. And I'm going to open the disk management console disk MGMT This will show the partitions on the existing 40 gigabyte disk. As you'll see here, we've got one 40 gig disk and the used partition. I actually want to reduce the size of this partition because when I do the resize action on the VirtualBox disk, I don't want to corrupt uh, this existing partition. So I actually want to shrink this volume and I can do that by right clicking the partition and saying shrink and the uh, operating system will allow me to reduce the size of the uh, partition so I'm actually going to reduce it by 11 gigabytes and perform the shrink operation and you will see that the when this operation completes that this partition will have 11 gigabytes of unallocated space at the end. So what this will allow me to do is shrink the VDI file that this disk is without uh, corrupting the running app, the uh, Windows operating system on that disk. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut down the virtual machine. I can go to the um, VirtualBox user interface and you can see the the disk that it's currently using. And so the first thing that I actually want to do is I want to go into Virtual Media Manager and rename the existing disk that it's using. So to do that you find it in the Virtual Media Manager and use Move which is uh, also a rename. So I'm just going to call it dash old and save that and you will see that it renames the disk the 40 gig disk to dot old just like you can see in the settings here so the next step that I actually want to do is to create a blank um, VDI disk that's smaller than the 40 gigs so that I can copy this old disk into it okay so go into virtual media manager and create and give the disk the name that I want to use for this machine and I'm going to set it to 30 gigabytes and I'm using the expert mode rather than the guided mode but you'll see the same in the guided mode I'm going to use VDI format and I'm actually going to use the fixed size disk because uh, it performs better so I'm going to click create and this will take a few minutes on this machine so I will pause the recording and resume when it completes. Okay so now the creation of the empty uh, VDI disk is completed. You can see it in the list in the Virtual Media Manager. So the next step is to actually go to the virtual machine settings for that machine and select that new smaller disk so I'm going to go ahead and click settings and storage. I'm going to locate the old connection here. Click on that guy. And then over here on the right hand side next to the hard disk port, I can choose a uh, different disk. So I'm going to point it at the 30 gig disk instead of the 40 gig one. And click open. And now it's using the 30 gigabyte disk as you can see here and then click OK. So now it's using the 30 gigabyte disk. So now all we need to do 
is start up that virtual machine just to verify that it boots up correctly with the smaller virtual disk. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start in the interface to start up that virtual machine. Right, so the machine did boot, but of course I haven't copied the old disk to the new one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and close it and power that machine off because it's now running on a blank disk. So to fix that, what we're going to do is actually use the VBox manage command in the uh, VirtualBox program directory. So I'm going to go ahead and change to that directory. Program files, Oracle, whoops, Oracle VirtualBox. I'm going to run VBox manage and clone medium disk. Give it the old file name. Um, VirtualBox BMs uh, old. Give it the old file name. Copy the old file name to the new file name, and then double dash existing. Okay. Once I hit enter there, again, this is going to take a few minutes on my machine. And once that completes, we should have a copy of the old one copied into the new machine. Now, of course, it's going to truncate that data off the end of that disk, but that's okay because if you remember, the first step that we did was we reduced the size of that um, system partition in that running VM to a smaller size. So the truncation shouldn't affect the running operating system. So we'll see that as soon as we start up the new machine after the, or start up the virtual machine after the copy is completed. Okay, so now we've completed cloning the disk from the old to the new smaller disk. So all we need to look at now is we are using the new disk, the new uh, virtual disk. So we just start up the virtual machine using the new cloned disk and just verify that that works. Looks promising so far. The correct operating system booting up. Okay, so it looks like uh, we were able to successfully boot. So we just do a right, cr right control key and delete to send control alt delete to log on. Okay, so we're able to successfully boot into the operating system. So I'm going to again log on uh, using a command prompt or Windows PowerShell as administrator and open disk management so we can see the partition. D-I-S-K M-G-M-T. And now you can see that the disk is a 30 gigabyte disk and that there is a one gigabyte uh, unallocated space at the end of that disk. Now remember when we originally resized we did it 11 gigs rather than just 10 just to make sure that we didn't have any issues here. So all we need to do is extend this partition as one more gigabyte. Do that, give a right click and extend volume. Next. And then we will be able to extend it 1,024 more megabytes or a gigabyte. Go ahead and click next and finish. And now we have the full 30 gigs of that disk in use. So at this point, we can actually minimize this and we can go to the virtual media manager now that we no longer need the old disk. And if you wish to do so, you can remove the old disk and click remove. And then also tell VirtualBox if you want to delete the actual VDI file from disk in the next question. So I uh, hope this tutorial was useful and helpful.